And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Okay, so we're back in Premier League action again this weekend and we are looking to get back to winning ways within the Premier League. Our last two games have been an absolute catastrophe. Losing to Crystal Palace at Anfield last weekend was probably the lowest I've felt as a Liverpool fan for a very, very long time. Um, uh, but also the draw against Manchester United, a rank-rotted Manchester United side that we should have got three points for. But this game now is probably our most important game of the season now. I've already said that against Crystal Palace last week, but this one is now the most important. We can't afford to drop any more points. We need to go out there and win this game because the margin for error, um, as I keep on stating, um, is zero. It's absolutely zero. I would say, and a lot of pundits would say, a lot of other fans would say, neutral fans would say, if Liverpool drop any more points, then it's curtain closed on our title aspirations. So we cannot afford to lose this game. In fact, we can't even afford to draw this game. We need a win and we need to get back to winning ways in the Premier League if we want to give ourselves the best possible chance going forward. Now, of course, going into this clash, we have got a fully fit squad really to select from, apart from sort of Connor Bradley, Thiago and um, Joel Matip and these kind of players that we already know about that haven't been a part of it but we have got key players returning of course Diego Jota has made three pretty short substitute appearances Trent Alexander-Arnold got his first start since mid-February and Jurgen Klopp has backed these two to make a significant impact on where the title will head come the end of the season and I couldn't agree more with Jurgen Klopp I think Diego Jota offers us up something completely different up top and could basically help us with our deficiency in front of goal as of late because the our attacking players just aren't finding the back of the net. They just can't seem to put the ball in the back of the net. So maybe Diego Jota can offer us something a bit different, especially going into this game. I think he definitely suits this type. So hopefully he can play a lot longer than he has been recently. And of course, Trent Alexander-Arnold speaks for himself. His passes from the fullback position whether or, or into the middle of the park um, I think his creativity and you know again I think the last game against Fulham that was the Trent Alexander-Arnold game obviously doing that comeback it was an absolute thriller um, so having a fit and uh, ready to go Trent Alexander-Arnold could really spur us on um, towards this title but as I keep on stating guys the margin for error is zero we cannot afford to drop any more points and we really need to see a response we really need to see us going back to winning ways this weekend or my season in my opinion or this season in my opinion is done and dusted Jamie Carragher uh, basically hit his prediction now ahead of it of course speaking to Sky Sports and does believe that we will win and we will win late um, so hoping he's right with the win but I want to see a bit of a performance from this side. Of course, three points is the most important thing, but I really don't think Mike and Hart can deal with any more crappy performances and uh, late clinches. So here's hoping we play good from start to finish, get all three points and have a more comfortable weekend. Probably not, but... We'll see. Now, moving away from the fixture this weekend, guys, a lot of talk um, has been regards to our new manager. Now, we are getting closer. We've only got five games left of the Premier League season. Five games left under the Jurgen Klopp era. Um, and, of course, in the background, we have got um, a potential um, managerial search currently ongoing. Now, yesterday, we provided you an update from David Ornstein and basically stated that Liverpool are going to be brave rather than popular and that not necessarily that Ruben Arim is the uh, guaranteed person to get the job. They're doing their due diligence and they are doing a data-led search with regards to different targets. Diego Motta is apparently on there. Gary Neal is apparently on there. Um, De Zerbe is not on there anymore. Nagelsmann's obviously staying with Germany. Uh, Ruben Amarim, of course, is still on there. But yeah, they're, they're, they're willing to be brave over popular at this moment in time. Now, going forward as well, guys, there has been a bit of another shock twist, if you like, because the sporting 
Club de Portugal president believes he can convince Ruben Amorim to stay despite the Liverpool links and despite Liverpool potentially offering him the managerial job. The sporting president is confident that he can get him to stay for a longer period of time. Yes, Frederico Vandares is confident that he can convince Liverpool managerial target Ruben Amorim to stay at the Portuguese club this summer. As stated, it's no secret that the 39-year-old sporting coach is Liverpool's number one candidate to replace Jurgen Klopp this summer, with the Reds eager to appoint a talented young manager after a Xabi Alonso decided to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. Despite public interest from the Reds and Amorim having addressed the links with Merseyside, sporting president Varandas believes he can convince Amorim to snub a Liverpool move this summer and continue to work with his Lisbon side. According to the Portuguese outlet O Jogo, Varandas doesn't appear overly concerned by Liverpool's interest in Amorim as things stand. In fact, Varandas is yet to consider looking for an Amorim replacement such in his confidence that he can convince the former Benfica midfielder to reject Liverpool's advances. Sporting is still chasing a domestic double, and Vandaris believes that the club's project is exciting enough to keep Amarim in the capital. Varandas believes the Sporting are likely participation in the 2024-2025 Champions League, and the promise of building an even bigger and better squad next season could be enough to fend off the Reds. Amarim has admitted that he cannot guarantee his future at Sporting, with the prospect of joining England's most decorated club likely a very appealing one. However, Liverpool will need to have other candidates in mind in case Amarim decides to stay with the Portuguese side or move to another elite European team. So again, there you go. It just seems this target is taking twists and turns at this moment in time. And I do believe, of course, club presidents come out and speak about certain things, and I wouldn't think he would come out and speak vocally about it and discuss um, Ruben Amarim if he didn't have a bit of belief that he could keep him. Obviously, he's a man in power. He's a man that can you know, guarantee things to happen. He's a man that can do stuff. Um, and if he believes that, it'll be an interesting conversation that is there. But I do believe in my heart. I think I said that with Shabby Alonso as well. But I do believe in my heart. I think his job with sporting is pretty much over. Two, potentially two league titles. Um, done well with them in Europe over a four-year period. I think it's next to go to that next job. And I think if the Liverpool job's there for him, he will take it despite the sporting president coming out and providing this sort of shock twist and stating that he can stay and that he's confident that he'll stay going into next season. Again, I don't think that will be the case. I think if the Liverpool offer is on the table. I think Ruben would jump at the chance to go there this um this summer but we'll find out I think in about three or three weeks two weeks um, Sporting got about three games left three more wins and they win the title and then we can probably start to hear negotiations happen David Ornstein has also provided an update that will be a, have a clearer picture come um, towards the end of April start of May so uh, very interesting times ahead for the Reds indeed but Liverpool fans do let me know your thoughts and comments made by the Sporting Club de Portugal president and do you think Ruben Amorim will be our manager this season, uh, this next season, yes or no. And let me know your score predictions for the game against Fulham down in the comment section below. I'm going for a 2-0 Reds win. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.